Thanks for watching MHH, the source of the best tech walkthroughs, tutorials, and of course, hacks on the planet. Cue dope intro. How is everyone doing? I'm back with another video. Uh, in my, you know, in my last video, I talked about uh, Chrome flags a lot. So I kind of wanted to do a kind of sort of follow up to that video. So let's just get into that. So um, what we're going to do here is I'm going to be just showing you uh, some of the settings you can modify in in the Chrome flags. And I'm trying to type one handed because I'm ho holding my microphone. So it's a little slow. Sorry. But um, some of the settings you can modify, at least these are the settings that I myself modify uh, in the flags that I uh, tweak. And um, first, so let me, I'm just went to a few different websites here to show you. This is basically because we're going to be tweaking some things that change the layout of Chrome quite a lot, actually. So this is, but this is the default. So I have everything on default in the flags as far as the, the UI for Chrome. So just kind of memorize this or, you know, I'll take a screenshot so we can come back to it and kind of compare it. So um, let's, uh, let's do the first, first thing here probably the most useful in my opinion. And that is uh, reader mode here. Reader mode is uh, quite useful and I'll show you why in a few minutes. Um, the other one, touch UI. Um, this one's a little different because, um, so you can do a touch UI, but there's actually two different layers to this whole touch UI. Um, I just enabled one but there's another one, and I think they call it the strip. No, let's type in just strip. Yeah, web UI tab strip here. Um, so I'll show you the difference um, and why it's, if you do one, it's you probably want to do the other one in a minute. And then uh, the other thing, very helpful if you're like me and you make videos show taps there we go and that is uh, show taps so um, for those of you who are Android nerds you may notice this is basically the same option that's in the Android developer options um, buried in the settings menu and um, if you don't have your developer options unlocked on your Android phone I would recommend you do that because there's a lot of really cool stuff in there um, it varies uh, what you can modify in there it varies from manufacturer to manufacturer but by and large there's some neat things you can you can tweak in the developer uh, options on Android. But anyway, uh, here in Chrome, the show taps, the idea is, oh, that's right. I do have to relaunch my browser, see that? But that will stop my video recording. So I'm going to have to like pause it and then Okay, come back so we're back. I re, uh, restarted everything so that these settings that just been tweaked can take effect. And here is, uh, here's what it looks like. Quite a lot different. Um, for starters, the tabs are now up in this area. So if you do control T, open a new tab, they're all gonna be up here. Um, this little top strip can be accessed uh, one of two ways. You either go over here and you just tap there, which is the usual spot where you multi-tab and, um, or you can do a swipe. Uh, assuming of course you have a Chromebook with a touchscreen, you can actually do a swipe from the top uh, and that works fairly well, except I keep hitting the unibar. There we go. And you have a little plus thing here, so you can open up new tabs, which is also sweet. Um, this is the uh, Touch UI interface. Well, really, technically, the the uh, Touch UI layout makes icons and buttons bigger, so that's why everything just looks, you know, it's more touch friendly because it's larger. But then the the tab strip is what this part is, so they're actually two to do two different options. So Next thing there is, uh, and this is actually new because originally when they did the, the touch UI, it was just touch UI. There was only the one option. And if you enabled it, you got the bigger icons, which was nice. But then you got the web tab strip, which, you know, it is not terrible, but um, I prefer not to have that. So you can actually go ahead and disable that part of it if you prefer. Um, so the reader mode, let me show a blog here. Um, so what the reader mode does is enabling this puts a little icon up here and toggle reader mode. 
And so it basically gets rid of images or at least most of them and um, actually gets rid of ads too, which is kind of nice. You know, along with the images, you're, you're also getting rid of ads and just gives you the words that are on the page, makes it easier to read. Now this actually looks pretty lousy with the single column in the center there. So what you do is you just, um, it's, it's, it's imperfect. So what you do is you go, whoops, I don't know what, where I'm scrolling. There we go. Up here in the top, this underline A, you can modify the text size. You can also do a kind of beige tone. You can actually do the, do the black, uh, black background, white writing, which is nice at night, saves your eyes. I actually prefer the beige background myself. And I like it when the font's a little bigger. Oh, that's kind of huge, but oh well. So this this is reader mode. Uh, and this just puts, you know, if you're doing a lot of blog reading, uh, news articles and whatnot, and actually you, if you, some Chromebooks at least, you can do that. You can get rid of the, you know, kind of go full screen with it. So now you have a much easier way to to read, like I said, news articles, blogs, or whatever.